N4 H&H &H here with some 17 meter action. And that is a soda station out west. Um, he is in Arizona. And uh, listening to him on a uh, off-center fed dipole. Now, let me turn off all the DSP, you know me. There he is with no help. Okay, so, as usual, digital noise reduction, filter at 50, eh, sometimes 100, but 50 today. And then APF, and I found him 30 hertz low. Now again, remember, if I want to hear him at, the, at my desired frequency, what I'll do is I'll put this back up at zero because I want to hear him at 550 hertz. So then I'll tune the VFO down 30 hertz. All right, so now, see my pitch button. Uh, whoops, right here. If you look in the display, see my pitch? Okay, 550, that's what I want to hear him at. So now I'm hearing him at 550. Whereas before, I had this centered up on his reported frequency, 18.093, but then I was using the APF to slide a little bit lower to where he was centered up. And granted, that meant that I was hearing him at uh, 30 hertz off. So, uh, now we have him back. Now, let's back to the difference that antennas make. That's an off-center fed dipole. There is a Cushcraft R5 vertical. And that is a 160 meter doublet, two, essentially 250 feet of wire fed in the middle with open wire line, balance line. Uh, coming into the shack over there. See it comes in above the window and uh, down into the back, not that tuner, but that tuner, the AT Auto. There's a four to one ballon back there, and uh, this tuner, as I as I move the rig, it, this move, move, tuner will follow it, watch. I'm turning the VFO on the radio. Servo motor touches it up. Okay, so back to 18093. And see, I don't even really have to think about it. It just takes care of that. So that's the working conditions here for the uh, doublet. Right, let's let him send again. I'll show you something else. Off center fed dipole, doublet, vertical. And then I'm gonna switch over to a ZS6 BKW. Okay, there's the ZS6 BKW. Back to the doublet. Doublet's got a, a major lobe headed out west, so it's giving me some gain. You know, it's cut for roughly 160 meters, and uh, here I am up on 17 meters, so it's uh, multiple wavelengths long so uh, yeah look at that so that's the doublet off center fed dipole off center fed doublet vertical that's Cushcraft R5 and you know, don't get me wrong. Sometimes the vertical winds, you know, you can't have too many antennas. Usually the doublet does well. It's got nulls here and there, but there's the doublet. And again, ZS6 BKW now. I didn't build mine, I, I was lazy. I bought it from ni4l.com. That's ZS6 BKW.
waiting on him to send again. Hopefully he's not finished. Well, maybe he is. But hey, you got to see what I wanted you to see. Sorry about the reflection there, the sunlight coming through the, oh, there he is. Okay, doublet ZS6BKW. The ZS6BKW is not doing too bad, but it's not gonna compete with that doublet. Vertical, off-center fed dipole, back to the ZS6BKW, and now the doublet. ZS6BKW, doublet, oh, come on, send again. tell you some of these CW signals like I've, you've heard me say they're almost imaginary or as my friend Joel says ghost signals um, without the tremendous receiver in this radio uh, you know it'd be hard to pull them out sometimes digital noise reduction filter and APF he's picking up now a little bit his signal almost hear who he's talking to. Good bit of QSB, and that's the doublet. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just um, yet again, another opportunity to show you some of these, uh, what my friend Joel calls ghost uh, ghost signals. And, uh, uh, you know, here on the 17 meter band, usually I'm doing 20, but this guy put out a spot for 17. So, uh, Hope you enjoy the video and found it informative. 73 from N4 H&H. &H.